All right, this is the installation video for the Fruto Technology 15 LED power cell replacement. So you should get something like this. First thing we need to do is remove the back and then focusing our attention in the power cell compartment here. First thing we're gonna do is unplug the stock power cell uh, LEDs. So you go ahead and trace this cable here and this will go to a four pin white connector. Next, unplug the two cables that plug into your town cell battery. Take your screwdriver and unscrew the power cell panel. You can leave the screw in. Don't have to take it off all the way. And all you have to do is move that aside. Now, the great thing about this kit is that we just have to remove some screws and take this entire thing off and we just need to plug in a new one and that's it. Very easy, simple. So first we're gonna have to remove the two screws that are connected to the booster tubes in here and wait a minute. Oh no, my screwdriver doesn't fit in there. That's okay. I have a smaller one here, easy peasy. That should, oh no, no, say it ain't so Hasbro, can't be. Well, it, this would have been a very easy install if it wasn't for these two darn screws, especially the one back there. It's very hard to get into. If you have like a maybe a really short screwdriver, you might be able to get in there. Um, I had to go and buy an angle screwdriver, as you see here. There are different versions you can get. There's one that's just kind of like a um, flexible tube. If you want to first try, you can get maybe like a, a small bit of some sort if you have a drill bit. And if it fits in there, I don't know, maybe try getting a small wrench or using pliers. I do believe the first time I removed this, they were on pretty tight. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to try first before you have to go and buy something like this. So let's go ahead and remove that. Next, go ahead and remove these two screws. Oh, and, and sorry, I forgot. There's two more right here that you need to remove. After that, this thing should just slide out nice and easy. And then take off this panel cover. And so the power cell is held down by the four pegs here. And there's like a thin layer of plastic on top that keeps it down. So we just have to break those off. Comes off real easily. Just need like something flat just to peel it off. After that, you can just kind of slowly, gently pry it off. There you go. Now we're gonna have to unloop this thing here. and just slide it out, done. Next, take your cable, and you're gonna wanna take the smaller end, feed it through, grab your power cell replacement, and plug that in. And then this just snaps in very snug. Uh, you may notice that the holes may not line up perfectly with the existing pegs. If you want, you can just widen the holes on one side just a little bit, just with like a small drill or something. But if you notice, when you try to install it, it fits in very snug without having to use those pegs. So right now, it's not using the pegs at all, as you can see. And it feels very snug already. It doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. And I'm shaking around. Yeah, it's not moving. So I'm happy with that. If you are, then just go ahead and leave it. If you want, maybe just put some hot glue at those at the end, something if you want it a little bit more secure, but no, this is fine. This ain't moving anywhere. Okay, and now all you need to do is reassemble it.
next power on your pack grab your wand and then we're going to need to go into the settings to change the number of leds so for that one you're going to hold down the intensify button and flip the top switch here five times okay turn the knob until you go down to the third option and then you're just going to press intensify 15 power cell leds and that's it once you hear it say 15 power cell leds go back up to the top hit to save hit this button saving settings and then give it a test Oops. <laughs> give it a test okay that works and i'll try changing the colors Beautiful. All right, have fun. Enjoy. See you next time.